Hello again! If you have already played with hoppers in the last snapshots, you probably have noticed the sometimes disturbing behavior in terms of timing. I personally encountered it when building my last brewing station. In this video I want to explain to you the basics of hopper timing. Let's start by having a look at this. When I fill items in this hopper, they end up here. Same goes for the other one. Now, when I do this, and try it again, the items end up on the other side. And finally, when reloading the chunk, It works this way again. But why? Well, first of all, each hopper has a unique counter, which increases by one in every game tick. That means 20 times per second, on average. Whenever this counter hits a multiple of 7, the hopper tries to transport items. Of course only when not locked by redstone. That means that not all hoppers have to be active in the same tick. Most are kind of out of sync. Now, your first guess may be that this inner counter starts at zero when the hopper is placed. But that's not true. In fact, the counter starts at a value which is only determined by the position. The formula is x plus 256 times z plus 65536 times y. And since this counter isn't stored in the map data, it always starts again at this value every time the corresponding chunk is loaded. So no matter in which order I place the hoppers, once I reload them they keep a consistent pattern, right? Not quite. Imagine two adjacent hoppers in two different chunks. When both chunks are loaded at the same time, the hoppers will start their counters at different values. But when one of the chunks is loaded shortly after the first, the older hopper might have reached a value with an equal remainder to the new one, even if both started with different values. And of course, if you just placed the hoppers without reloading, like in my example previously, they also might sync up. So, what happens when two or more hoppers are getting active in the same game tick? Well, the order in which they are placed isn't stored specifically, but it doesn't really get changed either, even not when reloading. So in general, the older hoppers are the dominant ones and get updated first. My personal tip, if you are building something where the update order of the hoppers is important, you should make sure that the crucial parts are all in the same chunk. That way you can get a consistent timing once the chunk is reloaded. A well thought out timing can allow for some very neat little effects, so keep an eye on that. Thanks for watching and see you next time!